Music is geometry. Every pattern you hear from scales and modes to chords and progressions, they're all based on underlying geometric patterns. And these patterns are cyclical and symmetrical because music is geometry, though on the surface, this geometry is hidden. Like if you look at a guitar, for example, or tablature or music notation, none of these look geometric, so then what do I mean? Well, these patterns are actually hiding in plain sight. They're just obscured by the way we usually picture music. So to show you what I mean, if we take the 12 notes of the chromatic scale and wrap them into a circle like this, we're a step closer because this pattern is cyclical. And what's cool is that it's also symmetrical because every musical key is also made of the same interval patterns. If we apply the scale degrees and align interval one with C, for example, we get the key of C. Or if we rotate the numbers like this, we get the key of D flat or the key of D, etc. It's consistent around all 12 keys because, like I say, music is cyclical and symmetrical. So we're definitely closer to seeing the full geometry of music. It's almost ready to jump out. But first, we just need to do something that makes it all more visual, and that's to rotate these notes into the circle of fifths, which is a pattern that shows how all of the notes are harmonically related. And then apply the color wheel, since all colors in this pattern are related to their neighbors, just as all the notes are connected in the circle of fifths. These two patterns are really the same. So now that we can see sound, we can also see the geometry of music. We just rotate the circle of fifths back into the chromatic scale, only now the colors highlight the symmetry of intervals that was obscured by the numbers alone. For example, in the key of C, you can see how the tritone, or scale degree flat five, the G flat note, is the complementary color of C, and how intervals four and five are visually and harmonically related to C, and intervals three and flat six together with C, or interval one, the tonic, form a perfect triangle, while these scale degrees form a square with the tonic and the tritone, and how the other intervals are symmetrical around C as well. And because all 12 keys follow the same patterns, the same symmetry is consistent from one key to the next, which results in six geometric patterns. In all keys, all of the tritones or complementary colors form a kind of starburst pattern, while intervals four and five form this geometric shape, Intervals three and flat six in all keys form triangles like this. Intervals flat three and six make squares like this. Intervals two and flat seven form hexagons. And then intervals flat two and seven combine to make a dodecagon. This geometry is inherent to music. And once you can see it, all of the patterns that stem from the symmetry, like scales, modes, chords, and progressions, are easy and predictable.